Mike Casper on the 12th of January 2024 and uh, I've got a red burgundy here. I've sort of spurred into action by having a couple of wines uh, recently from my um, portfolio that um, haven't um, aged as well as I want or perhaps I've just left them too long. Um, uh, whichever. So uh, spurred into action I've opened this. What is it? 2008. Bon premier cru le cra from the domain du Chateau de Chauré, uh, domain no longer um, extant. Uh, alas, um, I used to go and see Benoît Germain, um, son of the owners of the Chateau de Chauré, um, every year and buy his wines, and um, I like them very much. I like him very much. Um, alas, he is no more, but I'm mean, fully mature looking, as you'd expect. Um, just medium deep um, and sort of mahogany at the middle and fading, quite a broad orangey. It looks healthy, orangey band at the rim. Yeah. And it's got, I, I just pulled the cork out, stood this up uh, next door out of the kitchen where some food's being prepared. Um, probably opened it an hour ago I would think um, so let us have a look how do you describe mature burgundy well, let's give it a go first of all this is it's fresh this has got a real fresh bite and liveliness to the nose it's red it's got a domestic quality to the fruit the sort of fruit you find in fruit cages Red currant. Hint of raspberry to it as well, but there's a distinct smokiness as well. It's got nice density and a, a fresh aromas. It's also got something distinctly citrus about it, sort of um, fresh orange. quality a little bit of red cherry but that fresh orange thing once you once you identify it it's it's you can't ignore it there's a lot more going on in there that I, I can't put my finger on really but let's taste it and there's a there's a character a bit like chestnut actually but It smells light on its feet. It smells clean. It smells absolutely delicious. I'm going to have a sip. That's, you know, as it came across on the nose, this palate's got superb energy. The structure is very much giving it vim and, and, and life. The fruit is alive, but it's, it's, you know, transmuted into something, something tertiary, but it has kept that vibrant red fruited quality to it. Um, little bit, it, it's quite limestone. Kha is, is um, I think, uh, quite a limestone. Um, terroir and it has a cool limestone quality to the structure to the tannins which are integrated of course they are and lovely lovely acidity fully buried within the fruit you know it's it's not a big wine at all you know it's proper burgundy not deep in color not massive elegant subtle cool long but it's still going now and the longer it goes the more it gathers its limestone and not limestone rubble or dust or what have you this is sort of the sort of limestone you'd find in a 
in a in a graveyard, big slabs of it cooled by sort of autumn autumn airs. It's um It's slightly spicy piquancy to the um to the structure. It's got grip, it's but it's upright, it's cool, snappy. The whole thing's snappy, refreshing. It's just a lovely, lovely thing. Goodness me, I wish I had lots more. I've got one more of these. I think there is a case of Benoit's um wine that we're breaking for a client and it's currently live on our website. Um, but when it's gone, it's gone. The estate, um, all the vineyards have been sold uh, following the death of Benoit. And um, I think went to Jadot maybe. But it finishes beautifully. It's got a little burst spritz of red fruit right at the end of the palette. And um, the end is a long way off from the entry. It's a super thing. Um, gosh, Burgundy, a go go. This is back back in the days. Burgundy was was sensibly priced, and you know, we did, this was probably you know not much more than two hundred, two hundred and fifty quid a case. And I, I I wish I had a stack of it. It's absolutely ravishing. Fills me with joy. I must say, there we are. It's been two thousand and eight. Uh, Bonne première cru les cras from the domain du Chateau de Chauray les Bonne. Um, 13.5% alcohol, but who cares, whatever, it's lovely, absolutely lovely. 